Do you always need to start from scratch or can you sometimes use a template? In this video, I wanna show you guys six great templates that I think you guys can use for client work, for your portfolio sites, and also if you're starting your own small e-commerce. We're gonna cover six different sites here, starting with Extract. Now, Extract is a good first template to cover because it's free, so I know a lot of you guys are gonna be interested here. It has a lot of simple animations, which I know that you guys know that I like, because when you have simple animations, it can hook your users in without kind of overwhelming them as you can do sometimes with all this crazy AI stuff that's going on. But in any case, this template has a couple of pages here with a very simple color theme. We have purple and black, that's pretty much it. And then a couple of different sections here, but you can see that most of these sections have that floating up animation used over and over, which is nice in this case. We can see that we also have this gradient going on here. So this template, although it is free. It's not a bad way to get started. We have a ton of different pages here that we can use, like case studies, like the blog. Let's see what we've got here with this dragging explorer. I didn't see that before. But that's pretty nice as well. So we have a lot of different interactions that we can use right out of the gate with an entire design system already set up. Images, they're already inside here. And it's a pretty good template if you just want something to get going right out of the gate. You don't have to worry about too much. This is honestly a very good place to just get started. Then we've got Athos or Athos Dark created by Goran Babarogic and it has over 130,000 views this template. I want to take a look at the actual template itself because basically it's a template made for UX design portfolios which is fantastic because I need a new one. I don't know if you guys have seen the state of my portfolio but I need something a little bit more like this. Something with this high quality, something that has these kind of animations that allow any client that comes to your page feel like you already have a premium product in front of you. It's not going to be something that you have to create and spend a ton of time on it. It's just simple, well-designed pages that just kind of work. So in this case, we have these case studies that are gonna be very important for our work. And I do like the layout of these case studies. I always say that it's good to have a lot of big, bright images for your portfolio work. In this case, I mean, these are obviously just placeholders, but it's cool to see that we have different layouts here. And of course, this is just a starting point. So if you really wanted to, you can go into Framer and add in more layouts, of course. We also showcase our different stack here. So what was used for for this project, which is actually a very good idea. So we see that we've got Notion, Figma, we've got Framer, Reloom. I'm not sure how Reloom comes into, into play for this. It might just be the stack for that he uses in general, but I think it could be cool to connect a stack per project or per case study. That way you can kind of see what stack you use case by case instead of just seeing all of your stack in general. And then of course, the most important thing, when you get to the footer, we've got a hire me button. In this case, it's on contracts. If we click that, it'll actually take us to this real life person, which damn 100K earned on contract is a lot. So congrats to him. But anyways, this is a great portfolio. I mean, if this is the one that he actually uses for himself, then you know that it's going to be something that that already works and you don't really need to change too much. But it's cool to see the stack here again in the hero header and then remix for the template, of course. So Athos Dark, I'm gonna leave the links to all of these down in the description so you guys can take a look at them. This one is also free, which is fantastic. It's just a very solid portfolio and you can see some of the different iterations that this project has gone through in the past. This bit down here is one of my favorite. I just really like these pills. I'm not sure why, it's just a personal preference. I think that when you have these pills, it kind of focuses the attention on whatever you're saying there. So UX designer, 15 years, framework development, product design. Yeah, I don't know. It could be something that's not really necessary, but I just like the way it looks. So yeah, kudos to him. Next up, we've got Landio, an AI agency and landing page template. So we're going through a lot of different ones here. This one I like for a couple of reasons. Number one, I like the glow that we've got going on for all of these buttons. The gradients as well are super nice. The fonts that we're using are great because we're matching serif with sans serif. So this secondary font here with AI, I'm gonna I'm actually going to use da font to figure out what it is. So instrument serif. I love that font from Panagram. Fantastic. Although it is very expensive. It is super nice. Then we have as well gradients on the text, which is great. And then this I think the, the background image could be improved or the video in this case just feels a bit like stock image. If you had something a bit more personal, like your own project or portfolio images, or even, I don't know, a picture of you skiing or whatever you wanted to add of yourself, I think could look a little bit more personal. But in this case, it is a landing page. Again, you can use this kind of template for anything you want, but if you're gonna have a landing page, then it might be a better idea to showcase your product itself rather than just this kind of random image. Anyways, other than that, we have these nice, 
effects when we hover over these images. We have a time-based animation on all of these as well. It's not necessarily hover. I think it's it starts when you get to this part, but it is very nice. So we have these, these stacks that are moving up and down, but I do think they are triggered actually when your mouse goes over them, either that or when you scroll into that action or when you scroll into that section. So these are super nice, this bento box. If you can get this right out of the gate in a portfolio, or in a, in a template, sorry, if you can kind of get this, then it saves you a lot of time if you're going to use it. So it might be worth just getting this portfolio, sorry, I keep saying portfolio, this template just so that you can get these bentos because they take a long time to build. And if you're gonna be using this, then it's super, super useful. But if not, then yeah, maybe it's not that useful to you. This is really cool as well. You can drag this around. This is kind of like small additions that make your site feel a level above. It's not necessary at all. It's not gonna make you sell more of anything, but I think it makes the viewer feel like it's a premium site and that can help your overall brand feel. That's how I see it. I might be wrong, but that's how I see it. Okay, so down here we have our clients. These are all different tabs. I will say that it is loading a little bit slow. It has a lot of effects, so that might be why, but that is something to keep in mind if you're gonna be downloading this incredible free template. So let's move on to the last three. Now, these last three are gonna be paid, actually. We had the first three that were free, and now this is gonna be paid. So this is gonna be for a studio, and this is a premium template again. But that doesn't mean that it's necessarily any better or worse than the free ones. It might just mean that it has more pages, more effects, more of these kind of high-end interactions, and that's completely fine. But you don't necessarily need these higher-end effects to have a good site at all. So what we have here, here is this locomotive effect where it latches on to the top of the viewport and the bottom and then you keep scrolling and then it goes on to the next one and the next one and the next one. So this allows you to have the full image or video in this case of the project as the main thing that you're seeing with the title of the project, you can click on it and then it'll go into the actual project with that page transition, which is super easy to do in Framer. So that's a great thing. We have this video that starts playing a quick synopsis of what we're seeing here. And then my perfect kind of case study page is just massive images. That's all you need. Then we go down to the CMS and we can click onto other pieces and we have start your story down here, which would usually be this kind of animation would be with GSAP, but with Framer, it's much easier. So that's great. Super easy to get these kind of expert transitions transitions and effects in Framer without having to do too much work. So I'm just gonna go back here and try to go all the way down to another page. So let's see, let's go down to about, see what that looks like. So we can see that we have different kind of layouts here. We have awards and recognitions, selected clients. So this is always great to have if you can have these kind of sections. It just adds a level of prestige to your site because when clients are looking at all the different possibilities of agencies that they wanna work with, they're obviously gonna compare I don't know, awards, who they worked with, all these kind of things. They're all kind of social biases that clients are gonna be using against each other. So if you have these awards, showcase them. If not, then don't really worry about it. All right, next up we have a finance consulting template. So this is more of a landing page in general, but I thought this was a great template to showcase because it's a lot cleaner than the other ones that we've been showcasing here. The other ones have been a lot more artistic, a lot of gradients, a lot of this, a lot of that. This is more SaaS type template, which I really like as well. So first thing to mention here, it's a fully sans serif template. So super tech focused, very white and black, very kind of serious consulting, but it does feel very polished, which is why I wanted to showcase it. We have a lot of layouts here that you can get with this template. And this is a nice mega nav that we've got down here. So if we go down into home or startups, we can see a lot of different kind of unique looking layouts. We have these tabs here that are on the left, but that's not usually how it's done. So it's cool to see a different way. We have this accordion. It's just a simple accordion. So this is a nice, I mean, it's a nice site. It's cool to see a bio type of startup to have this kind of site template because I feel like usually they're they're a little bit more boring, traditional. So it's cool to see that they're going a little bit above and beyond, which is nice. Not too many transitions here, not too many effects. It's just more of a typical, I don't know, cookie cutter if you want to say, but the colors are super well done and the font is picked also really well. All right, next up we have a portfolio template that is very well done. It has 
again, what I usually like, which is a massive image in the background. In this case, it's a video, but this is basically a template that is made for designers or just studios in general, creatives. So here, as we scroll down, we have speak to an expert. So this is gonna just go directly to the contact page, which is great. And then down here, we have the four step process that this studio uses. So brand strategy, UX optimization, design systems, and creative strategy. It's all the things that they can do for you. So it's cool that they're just outlining everything that they do. As soon as you land, there's no doubt about, you know, what can these guys do for me? It's all right there. Then we've got this, which I really like as you hover above the different CMS projects, we have C feature project, and it obviously is unique to each of the links. When you click on it, it's gonna take you to that project itself. So depending on the size of the image, it's gonna load a little bit faster or slower. Super simple CMS page. You don't really need to say anything if your imagery is fantastic, in this case it is. So let's keep scrolling. Let's just see another one here. And then we have a very similar thing, of course, it's just a CMS, but yeah, in this case, super nice case study page. Usually the simpler, the better in my opinion. And then down here, this is also really nice. We have see our work. So you can click on that and it'll take you to the different pages that this person has done. So back to the CMS type of layout. And then down here, we have more simple layouts. So we have, you know, the type of startups that they usually work with, uh, scale up enterprise in this case, seems like all of them. <laughs> down here, we have this accordion that's moving up instead of left to right, which is cool to see. It's something a little bit different. The typical logos that you're gonna see on an agency that shows the different agencies that they've worked with or the different companies. And then finally, it takes you to the footer, which is layered behind in a nice parallax. So it's quite a premium feeling template, but it's kind of cheap for what it is. If you think about it, all the effects and animations, 30 or $40, whatever it is worth. So 49 in this case is not very expensive at all and 930 views only. So it's very unknown. If you buy this, it's not gonna be like the same exact thing. Every different portfolio, it's not gonna be the exact same one all the time. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to check out any of these templates, I recommend that you do so because three of them are free and three of them are very cheap. Usually templates are like $200. So it's cool to see Framer go a lot cheaper here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.